Hi, I'm Susan Haddock with the University of Florida Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences, Extension, Hillsborough County. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the fertilizer use and landscape management ordinance that we have effective here in the city of Tampa. There are a little bit of differences between the city of Tampa and Hillsborough County Incorporated, so I want you to be aware of those so you don't get yourself into any trouble while you're applying those fertilizers during the growing season. The fertilizer ordinances were put in place to help reduce what we call non-point source pollution. And that's pollution that can be fertilizers, pesticides, pet waste, uh, waste that come from septic tanks that are failing, or any other type of garbage or pollution that is dropped onto pervious pavement. So impervious pavements are the type of pavements like concrete and asphalt, where water will not flow through them. Pervious pavements are things like pavers and gravel, so the water can flow through them. So when we have pollutants that are deposited on those impervious pavements, they tend to run with water, whether that be your irrigation water or stormwater, into our stormwater drains. And they can pollute your stormwater pond, our rivers, that then flow into the Tampa Bay and the Gulf of Mexico. So we are quite concerned with this non-point source pollution. Nutrients from fertilizers have been determined to be a significant source of pollutants for our waterways. So we want to handle those properly in the landscape. So I'll give you a few of the points that are really important to know when you're applying fertilizers during the growing season. The City of Tampa requires that when you apply your fertilizer that the nitrogen be at least 50% slow release. That's a little bit difficult for us to get off of a label. But just keep in mind, you can contact your extension office for help on determining what the slow release component of that fertilizer is. The reason we want that fertilizer to be 50% slow release is because it releases a little bit slower over time. And that allows that fertilizer to stay put a little longer during our rainy season. So it does tend to help our plants long term without being washed away by rain or leaching through that soil profile into our groundwater. One of the other important parts of the fertilizer ordinance, and this is a statewide requirement, is that there be no phosphorus applications to landscapes unless you perform a soil test that determines that you have a phosphorus deficiency. If you think about that in the city of Tampa, it makes sense because in Hillsborough and Polk County, we have phosphate mines, which means we already have a lot of phosphorus available in our soils. You can bring your soil sample here to the Hillsborough County Extension Service to have it tested for phosphorus. There is a $7 fee and we do send that on up to the University of Florida. We have kits available here for you with instructions on how to properly collect that sample. One of the other parts of the fertilizer ordinance is weather restrictions. We don't want to be applying fertilizers or any type of pesticides or other products to our landscape when we're expecting two inches or more of rain within a 36 hour period. And that makes sense too, because the rain is just going to wash that product away and it's not going to be available to benefit the plants. We also don't want to be applying these products when we're thinking of a tropical storm might be coming, a flood warning or watch, or a hurricane. Another part of the fertilizer ordinance is that your fertilizer spreader have what we call a deflector shield. This is a professional grade spreader and it does have a deflector shield to give you an idea of what that is. This deflector shield pops down and it diverts fertilizer away from per impervious surfaces or waterways. So when you're applying fertilizer next to your driveway or a sidewalk or your waterway, you can deflect that fertilizer onto the landscape and away from those impervious surfaces. This is a really great tool because it saves you from having to sweep up those fertilizer granules, which is yet another portion of the fertilizer ordinances. And that is that we manage our yard waste, including fertilizers or pesticide granules or any kind of grass clippings and not leave them on the street or impervious surfaces where they can be washed into a storm drain. So we want to blow or sweep those clippings into the lawn as well as any fertilizer granules that might have 
been deposited onto any of those impervious surfaces. The other real advantage to having a fertilizer spreader with a deflector shield is it helps you out with the last portion of the fertilizer ordinance, and that is that you not apply any fertilizers within 10 feet of a water body. That includes any rivers, streams, or stormwater ponds. Again, if you have any questions regarding the fertilizer use and landscape management ordinance, please feel free to contact the Hillsborough County Extension Service at 813-744-5519. Or you can visit our website at hillsboro.ifas.ufl.edu. We have a great tool here available, and that is a brochure about the ordinance. And this brochure is going to give you all of the facts about how to read your fertilizer ordinance, determine that slow release content, and how to figure out how much you need to put on your landscape to stay safe and do the best thing for our environment.